Hello, my name is Anton and I'm the Field Application Engineer for Fairwright Products. In this video I'll be introducing you to our Toroid Permeability Calculator, what the calculator is used for and show you it in use. The purpose of the Toroid Permeability Calculator is to help determine what type of material the Toroid is made of. We'll accomplish this by determining the inductance and physical dimensions of the unknown Toroid, apply that data in the calculator, and calculate the initial permeability of the material. From there, we will cross-reference that value with our material list and should be able to determine the type of material the toroid is made of. You can find the calculator on our website under the Technical Resources tab, selecting Technical Tools and References, scrolling down a bit to find it. Here on the page there are two distinct sections. The right side of the page contains formulas commonly used in electromagnetic principles. Not all formulas within the calculator are used, but having a reference to equations used to determine other parameters is nice to have. On the left side of the page, we have the calculator. The upper section is where we'll input the physical measurements, the number of turns, and the measured inductance to determine the initial permeability of the material the toroid is made of. The lower left section is where the calculated data is given based on the values applied above. C sub 1 and C sub 2 are the calculated magnetic path lengths for the toroid. Effective path length, or L sub E, is the mean length of the assumed path. A sub E is the effective cross-sectional area of the toroid. B sub E provides the total volume. Air core inductance, or L sub O, is the next value given. This value is the measured inductance if the toroid had uniform permeability and the flux distribution remained unaltered. The final variable is the initial permeability. This is the value needed in order to determine what type of material the toroid is composed of. To demonstrate the use of the calculator, I've measured three toroids. Two toroids are the same physically and is formed from our 75 material, with one being tested with one turn and the other with three turns. The third toroid is of an unknown material of different size and measured with one turn. In our electrical lab, I use an E4990 impedance analyzer to determine the inductance of the three toroids, and all measurements were taken at 10 kHz. The 75 material toroid with one turn has an inductance of 5.83 microhenries. The second 75 toroid with three turns gives us an inductance of 50.39 microhenries, and all physical measurements were taken earlier using a digital caliper. Let's go back to our calculator. If we put in the outer diameter of the toroids at 35.46 millimeters, the inner diameter at 22.89 millimeters, the height at 12.67 millimeters with one turn and an inductance of 5.83 microhenries. Hit enter. We get an initial permeability of 5,256. The toroid with three turns and an inductance of 50.39 microhenries, we get an initial permeability of 5,048. We take those numbers and refer to our materials page and find the material with the closest initial permeability. We can see that our 75 material is the closest to our results with initial permeability of 5,000. For the last toroid, I measured an inductance of 1.47 microhenries. Heading back to the calculator, if we enter in an outer diameter of 102.53 millimeters, an inner diameter of 63.72 millimeters with a height of 15.86, one turn, and the 1.47 microhenries, we calculate an initial permeability of 974. Referring back to the materials page, we can see that this toroid is composed of our 43 material. Also, if by chance you find yourself with initial permeability that is the same for two materials, like our 78 and 20 material, you can do a resistance check with the multimeter. When touching both leads to the toroid, if you read and open, then your toroid is comprised of nickel zinc versus manganese zinc will read a resistance a lot less than infinite ohms. There you have it, a tool to help determine the type of material your toroid is made of, if unknown, or to verify the type of material it is. Thank you for watching this instructional video on our toroid permeability calculator. 
and feel free to browse our other resources provided on Fairrug's website. Until next time, have a wonderful day.